Welcome to Third Party News for Retro Robot Radio for the date of February 22nd, 2014. show we have my wife Jerry joining us again. Hello. Hi. So uh, are you ready to look at some pictures of the uh, new products this week? I am. All right. Well let's look at this first picture here. This comes from Dr. Wu and it's part of his uh, missiles system he has for the Masterpiece Prowl figure. These are Gatling gun add-ons for them. Um, I beg to differ. I think it's his new product line called Black Licorice. Okay. And as you can see from these photos, he's made a lot of them, and they're cannons that add on to the Masterpiece Prowl missiles that he makes. Okay. You have your say, I have mine. All right. Now, the next picture we have is from a new company called DX9. They're making a set of accessories for Transformers animated figures. This set includes a, some stasis cuffs, a set of magnets for Ratchet, and a rocket-powered axe for Optimus Prime. Okay. Um, stasis cuff. I have no idea what that means. Enlighten me. Um, they appeared in the TV show when they had to uh, arrest one of the villains. They put him around his hands and they held him and stopped him from using his powers. Ah. So like the uh, like old-fashioned version of zip ties. Right. Okay. Um, magnets where? Right here on the ratchet figure. See, he has around his arms. Okay. The character has um, magnetic powers in the show, so they have little magnets that you can actually add onto the toy. So he would stick to my refrigerator? No. No. Okay. okay. And then, uh, weapon, what is it? Rocket powered? Rocket powered axe? Who doesn't need a rocket powered axe? But how will you hold on to it? With your hands. But if it's rocket powered, You'd have to really hold on tight. That's right. Maybe you would need your stasis cuffs. Right. Okay. This next picture we have is the box art for Fans Toys Scoria figure. It's made by Spike Art. Okay. As you can see, the Scoria figure, which we, I think we talked about last time, uh, is almost ready to come out, and they have a very fancy box it'll be packaged in. That is fancy. That is... I would run to the store right now and get one if it was available. They cost about $200. I would not. I would not be running anywhere. All right. The next picture we have <laughs> is a teaser from Gigapower for their Master Robots line. And you probably wouldn't recognize them from the silhouettes, but these are masterpiece versions of the five original Dinobots figures. Well, obviously. And HQ1 is Grimlock, HQ2 is Slag, HQ3 is Snarl. HQ4 is Sludge, and HQ5 is Swoop. I would be partial to HQ6, which I don't see here, so I really have no comment. Okay. And then the second picture we have is a um, prototype figure of the Snarl. Okay. What's going on with his back? Well, he turns into a Stegosaurus dinosaur. So he's like half man, half Stegosaurus in this pose? And half robot. And half robot. Right. Does he have any stasis cuffs? No. What are those things on his arm? His forearms. But it's just supposed to be like, okay, like a wheel for his shoulder? I guess. Okay. All right, this one comes now from iGear. Now this I like. I like this. iGear in the past released a little uh, set that you could put your figures on and it makes it look like they're in their headquarters. And this is a teaser for a chair that the villain can sit in in his headquarters. Now, I don't know about a villain, but could, like, my Barbie sit on it? Possibly. So you're saying it's Barbie size? Uh, it might be a little bit small for her. Okay. How about Skipper? Is it well, Skipper yeah, Skipper size? obviously could fit in there. Okay. Good. This next picture we have is from Keith's Fantasy Club. They teased the collector card that's going to come up with, with, with their Keith figure. Oddly enough, Keith is not named after Keith's Fantasy Club. 
It's named after the pilot of the Black Voltron Lion from the Voltron TV series. Okay, first of all, Keith's Fantasy Club, that sounds kind of risque, and to name a figure after yourself, I, I don't know. I just said it wasn't named after him. Well, it says Keith on it. Yeah. Oh, I don't like it. I'm not, no. I don't like it. This is a poster that uh, Machine Boy released recently. And it's a teaser for their upcoming figure line. The uh, new line this year is called The Kinbits Strike Back. Is that a forklift? Yes, it is. That's so, Steel Teeth, the forklift. So the forklift strikes back? Well, no, I think that's the guy in the background who looks like Omega Supreme. Uh, he strikes striking back. back uh, yeah. He's striking back at a forklift? Possibly. Um, the story uh, behind... Uh, Machine Boy is that they're a Chinese toy maker who started off making knockoff Transformers, then a couple years later switched to making their own original figures, and now is kind of moving into a kind of halfway in between where they're making their own figures, but they're inspired by Transformers characters. I think they've run out of vehicles if we're doing forklifts. Well, no, they got forklifts, helicopters. Um, helicopters are good. Forklifts, I mean, we uh, what, you boats. make your getaway on a forklift? Well, he's supposed to be a fighter, and his name is Steel Teeth, and he has forks. You know, that's kind of cool. How about, how about Hand Dolly? Okay. Sorry. All right. This next picture is a mm -hmm. prototype from SXS. It's a replacement head for the TFC Toys uh, Uranus figure. Okay, first of all, what happened to his head? Why does it need to be replaced? Well, a lot of people complain that the original Uranus head just didn't look right. So um. they have a new head for Uranus. Okay, just the whole Uranus thing just makes me giggle. So let's move on. All right. Well, that's all the pictures we have for this week. I'm glad you could come by and help out uh, reviewing these pictures, Jerry. You are welcome. All right. This week's screen grab comes from the 1970s super robot anime series, Guy King. This week's story is brought to you from the pages of tformers.com and TFW2005. Stories read by Matthew Ignash. Be sure to visit our YouTube channel, comment and subscribe if you like the show. For more information on third-party Transformers, visit wikialpha.org and drop by the Facebook page for the third-party cast. <laughs>